Today we will talk about cash flow statement. What useful information can it give to an entrepreneur who is launching a startup? We are business planners, so we can help you with your business plan and financial model in Excel. Subscribe for more videos. Please like and share to help the channel grow. So come on, let's get down to business. Analyzing cash flow statement, you can see the structure of revenue and different types of expenses in your business. Payroll, fixed costs, direct costs, taxes, investments, loan payments, and so on. Here you can see the natural breadth of your business idea without loan payments. It's the result from operating activity. Looking at cash flow statement, you can see the chronology of money needed on the investment stage and on the first period of operating stage. Also, here you can see the structure of money needed to start your business, why you exactly need this amount of financing this or that month. Looking at cash balance at the end of a period, you can specify the amount of equity and loans to finance your business idea. The goal of this section is to specify the amount of equity and loans so that the cash balance at the end of a period is always positive during all timeline of a cash flow statement. When you are done with equity and loan specification, you finally know the total amount of financing needed for your investment project. Looking at cash flow at the end of a period, you can see the cumulative growth of cash inside timeline of your investment project. Analyzing it, you can see whether it gradually grows or stands still, and if it doesn't grow, you can see why. When you are done with cash flow statement, you can calculate monthly free cash flow, which is a sum of operating, investing and financing activity. When you see free cash flow, you will be able to analyze how loan payments affect your business idea. You will see the difference between operating, profit and free cash flow. If the difference is significant, it's time to think about the way you are going to finance your future business. Of course, it's vital for you to calculate loan coverage ratio under your cash flow statement. This ratio will show you how significantly your operating profit prevails over loan payments. The higher the ratio, the more stable your business idea is. If this ratio is close to 1, it's a good time to go back to inputs and change your business concept or reject a loan strategy as a way of developing your business idea. So this was cash flow statement. If this video was useful to you, Please like, share and subscribe. Should you choose to take action in your startup, we can help you with business planning and financial modeling. Let's test your business idea. Stay tuned and bye-bye.